Hello, today we're going to make a fairy garden, or a terrarium if you will. Uh, effectively, you need to think of it as in layers and then the scenery. So your first layer is going to be your base. So you can use dirt or rocks or anything like that. And then your second base is gonna be your moss or whatever else you want in there. So I'm gonna be using rocks. So all you need to do is take some rocks and put them in there. Make sure there's just a good base in there. Okay, that should be enough. And then you take your moss. bit more. Okay. And then you kind of want to like flatten that down. Okay. So next, once you have your base layers, you want to think about your scenery. So we have a few things for our scenery. I have this little fairy house. And then I have a rock. And then I have a little dragonfly. So first, what we're gonna do is our, we're gonna put in our fairy house. So it might work and what might help kind of give it a base and to stand up in there is you may want to either maybe put a little stick on there or something to kind of give it something to stand up on. So, Think about that when you're place, doing your placing is you want it to have something to stand up on. So what we might do actually is clear some of this moss around. Okay. And if you have to, go ahead and hot glue it down. Okay, so that's our little house in there and then just kind of press down some of your other moss or if you need to re-spread it out go ahead and re-spread it out and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our rocks and we are going to carefully arrange a little path to our house A little pathway to our house. So we can show you guys. There's the little house, there's our pathway. And again, if you need to use hot glue, you can or something to kind of get it in there. And then we're going to take our larger rock and then carefully place it here off to the side. And then we're going to take our dragonfly and he's just going to sit on that rock. And that's it. So you can create a very simple scene with things you can get at the dollar store. You can even try maybe doing some with stuff you have at home. So maybe you could do a little dinosaur one or maybe one with some Lego man or just really find what you have at home and see what you can make. So it'll be a really fun project for the family. And since most of the things I got here came from the dollar store, it can also be inexpensive as well. So there you go. Another thing you can do if you want just something fun and quick and easy is we can do another type of luminary that all you need is glow in the dark paint. I'm gonna get a little piece of construction paper so you guys can kind of see what I did. So you can kind of see where I've already started. So really all you need is a glass jar and some glow in the dark paint. And this would be a fun one to do with the kids. 
So all you need to do, and you can see we got started already, I just want to kind of give you an idea, is take your glow in the dark. This is fabric paint, so it may not work as well. This is just kind of what I had on hand. Um, so just really any type of glow in the dark paint. And with this one, with this little applicator, I can just kind of like dot it on wherever I want. And then I can take a brush and spread it out a little bit more. What you might want to do is get your initial dots painted on and you may need to go over it depending what type of paint you need or you're using. So if it's like a little, a really thin paint, you might want to just layer it on. So like put on your initial dots and then just layer on, let it, let it dry and layer on the rest of your paint. We're going to go ahead and finish the rest away so you guys can see how easy this is. So this is just another one, quick, easy, simple project you can do at home. It would be a lot of fun for the kids. You can pretty much get most of your supplies from a dollar store. Uh, glow in the dark paint you have to get a craft store or at any store that sells craft supplies. So that one you may have to look around for. And then at night, you let it dry, let it sit in the sun, let it get some rays. And then at night, it'll be really pretty because it'll just be this glowing glass. And you put a little tea light in it, it'll be really cute. So the end result. Is really pretty. Okay. So that's all of our dots painted on. So you just let that dry. You may want to layer some more on. And then, then in the evening, you can put it out, take a look at it. It's really nice, really pretty, really easy, simple craft you can do at home. I hope you all are doing well. Take care. Bye.